YouTube, Wolf Horse here. So I need to just make a rant today. Um, so hang in for that. Uh, I want to rant specifically about an argument I hear from um, those types of vegans. Now I want to be perfectly clear. I'm talking about like the extremists trying to change everybody else's life vegans. I am not talking about regular vegans, I guess the vast majority of vegans who are perfectly fine people. Um, so don't come to my video just to hate on vegans. Your comments will be deleted. Okay. If you have an issue with somebody else's way of eating, if somebody else omitting something from their diet that has no effect on you bothers you that much, you have a problem, not them. Okay. That's out of the way. Um, the argument that I have a huge personal problem with is when vegans say, oh, um, we shouldn't even be eating meat. People don't even like meat. They like the seasonings on meat. They like the sauces on meat and you can't even eat meat raw. Um, so as you can see in front of you, I have raw fish, um, cheeses, this is my breakfast, raw um, beef. These are cooked, these are rabbit, but um, I don't trust eating the innards raw for reasons I'm going to talk about. And these, I believe, are also cooked. These are um, crickets. Uh, I, I, I don't have crickets to eat raw. <laughs> I can only buy them in a package. So, um, two things. One, you can eat meat raw. Now, it's not a good idea to eat meat raw, but you can eat meat raw, and in my opinion, it's delicious. Just look at how popular sushi is, okay? Sorry for eating in front of the camera. I'm trying to make a point. I actually prefer my meat raw if I can have it. Um, the uh, same with fish, honestly. It's, or at least certain fish, like salmon is really good. Um, I refuse to have ahi anything more than seared. Um, but our food system makes it so that it's not very safe to eat raw meat, um, when you, especially when you're buying something at the grocery store. So the reason is uh, bacteria, okay? You know what bacteria is. I don't have to explain bacteria to you. Um, e. coli happens a lot um, with food outbreaks. And that can happen in plants as well as with meat. Uh, our, when you harvest food, it comes from outside. You know, plants grow outside, animals are usually raised outside. It's not going to always be clean when we're especially when you're butchering an animal, it's not a clean process, okay? I've done it. These, these rabbits, I butchered myself. It is not clean. Um, so bacteria can get in. And the reason that like you never want to eat ground meat compared to like this is a steak, this is a little more acceptable, is the outside of the meat is more um, able to get bacteria on it, um, but it doesn't usually penetrate into the meat. So you usually won't get sick from something like a steak, but if I was eating ground beef, that could be a problem. Um, this also happens with plants. You know, personally, when I think of E. coli, I think of spinach and I think of lettuce because those are the most common ones I encounter. Um, bacteria is everywhere. You and you eat raw food, you take risks, whether it's a plant or an animal. <laughs> the other thing with meat more so is um, parasites. Excuse me, it's like uh, worms are a common one. That's the reason fish for sushi has to be frozen at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time in order to be deemed safe to eat raw. Um, thus far meat may or may not get that treatment. So if you want to freeze your meat, it's going to be less likely to have those worms in it. Um, so that's why, and just to derail a little bit, the reason the meat has the worms is because they got it from the plants. If you know the worm's life cycle, it's you know, eggs or larvae on a plant, the animal eats that plant, it is now in their digestive system, the um, worms live inside of the animal until eventually they're excreted out back onto the plant, re rinse and repeat. Um, the only thing is, worms can be harmful, obviously. So when I eat raw meat, I'm risking giving myself worms. I'm fully aware. Um, the other thing that I have an issue with so raw meat delicious we can eat it people just usually don't because we're not conditioned to unless it's in the form of sushi or maybe depending on where you are steak tartare or something of that variety um, the other issue is just because we can't eat something raw does not mean that we're not meant to eat it okay i have an issue with fruit i 
have a lot of plant allergies um, to the point where when my allergy doctor, the allergy doctor saw my results, he said, don't eat fruit and only eat cooked vegetables. So I was allergic to every plant on the test. Really annoying. Um, I don't have any, any actual food allergies besides like a minor wheat allergy, which doesn't matter. Um, but I do have a lot of sensitivities. So if I put too much seasoning, too many herbs, too many spices, both derived from plants on my food, I get very sick. I will throw up. Um, oh, sorry, it's not even the orange, or not orange mandarin, just made me sneezy. Allergies. They're great. Um, if I eat raw, um, uncooked vegetables, I get sick. The other day while I was cooking, I was making snack peas, so um, sugar peas, pea pods, and I'm the kind of person who takes bites of things as they're cooking, so I ate a pea pod. Seems completely harmless, you know, I'm making dinner. Uh, I was so sick from eating a singular, a singular pea pod. I was pissed. Made me sick for the next three hours straight. I couldn't eat my dinner when I made it, and it smelled so good, but it was making me feel so sick just being around it. I couldn't be in the kitchen anymore. I had to leave the kitchen after my food was done being made. I couldn't eat anything, and I hadn't eaten most of the day, so I was starving, and it sucks feeling so sick. Um, yesterday, I was trying to be a stereotypical millennial and eat the extremely easy breakfast of avocado toast, where I get toast, I get an avocado, smear that puppy on there and eat it. My mouth was so itchy, so itchy. It would not stop being itchy until I drank a bunch of milk. I don't know why milk helps, but it did. Um, I also ate some ice cream because for whatever reason, dairy was helping the itch go away. I don't know why. I would love to know why. I'm sure there's a reason, but... So I can't eat a lot of things and it's really frustrating to me. And so when I see somebody say, oh, well, if you can't eat it raw, you weren't meant to have it. That's bullshit, okay? I'm sorry for the language, but that is pure bullshit. I have to cook my vegetables. When I was a kid, green beans, raw green beans were my favorite thing. When my mom made green beans, I would take a handful of them just to snack on while she cooked. Favorite thing, can't eat them anymore. My sensitivities, Say if you eat more than maybe one of them, you get sick. When I go grocery shopping, I have to touch apples when I have them because um, I'm feeling for the dryness of the apple. If they are like the nice juicy apples that people usually love, I can't eat them. If they're the dry crumbly apples, I can eat it. Same thing with peaches. I can eat the drier peaches usually fine, but if I eat a peach that's like dripping wet, like you want to eat it over the sink because it's just juicy peach, I'll get sick. It's frustrating and I hate it. So when you sit there and tell me that, oh, if you can't eat it without cooking it, you weren't meant to eat it. That's bull. That's a lie. Okay. Maybe I personally can't eat it. That's fine. But saying that all of humanity can't eat green beans, can't eat snap peas, can't eat most fruit because I, one singular person, my personal body has an issue. That's Okay, that's frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating to hear that. So think about what you're saying before you say it because you're saying a lot more and setting so many more limits than you realize. And it's insulting at this rate. It's rude. Now, I don't wanna eat on the camera, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast, but that's my rant for the morning. Thanks for listening.